Welcome to C4 station, in the middle of nothing, not even a sea. C4 station is a basic station located 22.6 km from Perth in Fair Zone 3, serving the suburb of Gosnells located between the stations of Gosnells and Kelmscott. It opened on the 4th of May 1948, built with low-level platforms, with full-height platforms installed in 1969. It has been reported to be the least used station on the Transperth network numerous times, which is not surprising considering its location next to an arterial road and adjacent to a highway interchange with the Perth Hills on the eastern side and a bushland on the southern side, meaning that it only serves a small residential area on the northwestern side. I am currently walking on this very narrow path right next to the station with lots of dead grass along the side. This is Albany Highway, a big road stretching from the city of Albany in WA South to Perth, running alongside the Armadale Line for the last 30 kilometers. Here there's an old sign saying that you need to purchase a ticket when riding the train. And also the station sign is located right here in this dead grass. This is a bus stop here for Route 220, which is a, just a dumb service operating from Armadale to Perth for no reason because it just goes on Albany Highway almost the whole way right next to the train tracks. So it's just if you want to get off at individual stops in between the train stations, it might be faster to do so. It passes by most Armadale Line stations. So this station actually does have a bus service, although it's only once an hour or at best every half an hour during peak periods. And after you walk along here, there's an entrance, although there's no pedestrian maze here. It's only up to platform two, the one for trains to Armadale. A little access point and then you come up and the whole platform is just a very old and dirty asphalt platform with concrete at the edge a very old Armadale Line style platform and there's a bin and some simple huts just like every other heritage line station which is not serving anything major uh, but the huts are red bricks have red bricks then there's one open station smart rider processor and inside the hut you've got the usual information points, emergency point, ticket machine, and seating. And that's it. It's an empty station with absolutely nothing and absolutely no one. This station is rather pointless apart from the people who live right next to it. The train frequency is every 10 to 15 minutes right now because this is a week end, specifically a Sunday, which is when you've got a C pattern and an all stops train, which means they're every 15 minutes and then 10 minutes and 15 minutes and 10. Yeah, that's how it works. So the crossing between the platforms is on the uh, southern side of the station. Yeah, see here is the timetable CT, all stops, CT, all stops, but T is too thorny, so that doesn't come here. Uh, yeah, so if you need to cross the platforms, southeastern side, and uh, that's just the pedestrian maze got another bin here so that's right where I started the video next to the station sign just a little loop that I did here but as you can see it's almost nothing those houses on the other side of the road only stretch for like a kilometer and then it's already the hills and the Tonkin highways in between a lot of big trees over there next to the small car park for the station um, yeah that's it we're now crossing don't know what else to say, just a few, wait, yeah, there's a few bike sheds over there that you can put your bike in, the old style of bike parking before the bike shelters came. And this is now platform one for trains to Perth. Also exactly the same, empty island with concrete uh, and asphalt, although this one's got some parking machines over there because it's uh, yeah next to the car parking and on this side is where the defibrillator is located and the 
huts a significant bit longer than on the other side, which was good because it started to rain when I was here. But even though it was very hot, so you got that smell of rain hitting asphalt on a hot day, if you know what I mean. Yeah, and then there's another tiny section of car park right there, only for about six cars, with the rest being on the other side. And over there are also the train replacement bus stops for the station. Here's the station sign. This road here is called Seaforth Avenue, actually named after the station. And then, yes, on the right-hand side are the train replacement bus stops for the station. And just one towards Perth on the left and towards Armadale on the right, just on this street. They randomly come in here, the buses, but the 220 is on the other side of the road. This road is actually a no-through road over here because soon after the station is the Tonkin Highway. So that's the major blockage for the roads in the area. Um, yes, that's it. Let the, there's some bike heroes over there and then another entrance onto the platform from right here. I give it a rating of one star. There is nothing, nothing, nothing. And a pedestrian maze and very bad platforms. It's terrible. This is the worst example of a station, which is why it's the least used. One star for this terrible, terrible station. Thank you. 